September this year, scientists doing routine surveys of animal populations in the Chukchi Sea observed a large herd of walruses resting on a beach at Point Lay, Alaska. This phenomenon is normal walrus behavior, known as a haul-out. But what was unusual is that while walruses are believed to prefer ice, these animals had gathered in huge numbers on a beach. Researchers claimed that the spectacle was unprecedented and had likely been triggered by Arctic sea ice loss. They were concerned that walruses had been forced to haul out on land because the ice had moved over water too deep for feeding and that such large gatherings increased the risk of harm to smaller and weaker animals. To show this, pictures of the beach haul-out were published, and comments added that dead walruses had been spotted, likely killed by stampedes. The images helped to draw global media attention, and environmental organizations were quick to draw the link between the plight of the walruses and climate change. But is this true? Are mass haul-outs on beaches a new phenomenon? Are walruses suffering because of climate change? Or is there a more plausible explanation than the one offered by biologists and environmental organizations? In fact, large haul-outs of walruses such as the one making news this year are not new events. At least two similar incidents have been documented in the last 40 years. In 1978, on eastern St. Lawrence Island, an estimated 37,000 walruses hauled out on one beach and about 35,000 on another. And in 1972, an estimated 36,000 walruses were observed on the western end of Wrangell Island. Similar haulets of this size were also witnessed in 1964 and between 1930 and 1932. The notion that females and calves were never found hauled out anywhere except the sea ice and never used beaches as foraging platforms before 2007 is simply not true. By late September, Chukchi Sea walrus females must begin their annual migration south, away from the pack ice. Even in 1978, walruses swam about 300 kilometers south to eastern St. Lawrence Island to haul out in massive herds on the beaches there, well before the sea ice had arrived. So if low sea ice coverage doesn't explain huge onshore gatherings of walrus females and calves, what does? The answer may be high population numbers. The massive haul-outs in the 1970s were explained by an increased walrus population, which later reduced by half by the end of the 1990s. More recent attempts to survey the walrus population have been hampered by bad weather. Biologists now admit that they have no idea how many walruses there are. But the recent mass gatherings are probably a sign that the population has recovered and is again approaching the limit its habitat can support. Rather than reflecting the decline of the Arctic environment as environmental campaigners claim, the behavior of walruses seen this autumn may in fact signify its health. <laughs>